Hello there folks and welcome to the BRO. Uh, welcome to the BRO Ponderosa. We're actually down at the range. Uh, today we're going to talk about my best, some of my best performing 35, 36, and 37 cal. And uh, we're going to set up at 50 yards, me and Rachel, and we're going to try to get through this. Everybody has been terrible sick for a long time here, right? all through the whole end, almost a whole month of December and into January. But uh, anyway, we finally had, we had a beautiful 60 degree day here the second week in January. And we got down here to the uh, family range. And we're going to show y'all what some of my best performing big stuff. Mr. Big Stuff is what we're talking about today. Y'all stay tuned. Alrighty, folks, it's all about Mr. Big Stuff today. Uh, we're going we're gonna to shoot some 37 caliber quads that are made with uh, Marty's molds. And uh, we're going to shoot some 36 caliber triple alt. These are two of my favorite sizes. And we're ending up another uh, deer season here at Bubba Roundtree Outdoors with a lot of new field data and stuff that worked really good in the field for us. And we're going to be talking a lot about that here uh, in several upcoming videos. Brand new Federal. Y'all seen these 10 millimeter brass Federal? A lot of you got them. Brand new Federal with the 10 millimeter brass, three inch hull, primed from ballistic products. Probably ain't going to find them now. We got 32 grains of blue dot, a single FS12 flex seal put in here, and we've got 10 pellets of 37 caliber quad powder coated the 10 pellets of my quad weigh 1.7 ounces and it's all covered in ballistic products original buffer we're going to be shooting at 50 yards today fellas 50 yards stand by Fellas, the uh, Wade Rush house has been very, very sick here the last uh, good little while. I'll go into more detail about that. Everybody is fine and on the road to recovery, but it was some bad stuff. It wasn't the big C or flu. It wasn't either one of those. It was something else, not defined, but just defined as upper respiratory infection, severe upper respiratory infection. Okay, this is the first time I can string together more than two sentences in probably the last month. Twelve oh nine is what we got on the chronograph. Didn't hit Miss Rachel with the hull, I don't think. No, kicked it well, y'all. How about that one, fellas? Know your hog hunters will be loving that. Your Sasquatch hunters will be liking that too. <laughs> That's full 37 caliber. <clears throat> Pardon me, fellas. That's a full 37 caliber pellet. We got 10 of them in this three inch round. And uh, Rachel said all 10 of them here, this black circle is 30 inches. We are at a full 50 yards, fellas. Look at this right here. One. Two, three, four, five, six, 37 cal right there. No doubt that right there would have been in the animal. One is enough. One is enough. What a great pattern. And that's conventionally loaded. You can't really load those big boys any other way. All right. Let's, uh, I don't know if I got another. Anyway, we'll go look and see what I got laying up there, whatever's next. Stand by. Fellas, what we got here, excuse me, great goodness, is we got another brand new primed Shittite, three inch from Ballistic Products, hull. We got 27 a long shot under an X12X seal and a one quarter inch fiber wide. 
once again we got 10 pellets of 37 caliber powder coated in here all covered in ballistic products original buffer and this one is mylar wrapped that just helps a lot and uh, like I said we this is 1.7 ounces of total lead payload weight with 10 pellets a great big old 37 caliber it's a beautiful round ain't it Sixteen. Let's split it. Let me see it. Yeah. Fellas, this is something you're going to notice. The Federal, the Federal did have a Mylar wrap too, but it can be loaded again. The Shadite, it split a little bit. It runs just fine in the gun. But a lot of you guys are going to notice this is going to happen, especially with the quads, that uh, with these thin, thin, cheaper uh, Euro holes, like the Fiocchi, Shadite, Rio, whenever you shoot these big pellets, even with a mile hour wrap, you may still notice that they split right there on the end like that. And unless you shoot minis and all that, it'd be kind of unfortunate one and done. But that just seems to be the nature of the beast shooting these quads, in my experience anyway. The good, the, the Remingtons and the Federals, they just, they do just fine. No big deal. Probably not the sticker off. <coughs> but anyway, very similar pattern to the first shot using the Federal hull. That will definitely work and get the job done right there, fellas. And now, you know, hog season just continues. Now, there's a few places here, it being early January, our second week in January, there's still a few places that deer season is open to the end of January. Here in South Carolina, it closed on the 1st. So now uh, we're just uh, getting set up for next, uh, for next fall, this fall. All right, we got some 36 cal triple alt. I got, uh, got one in a 3-inch, one of my favorite loads in a 3-inch, and another one of my favorites in a 35 caliber. I think I might have used the Hornady because Hornady triple alt or 35 cal. And a lot of you guys picked that up. And uh, we got a 10 pellet load that we can get in a two and three quarter inch round. So y'all stand by for that. All righty, folks. Uh, last two shots, two of my favorite 36 caliber, or two of my favorite triple alt loads, I should say, because they're not both 36 cal. Now here, we got a brand new Shittite primed hull here from Ballistic Products, 27 a long shot, X12X seal and a one quarter inch fiber wide we have 10 pellets of full grown 36 cal triple alt in here powder coated and they're all covered in bp original and we have mylar wrapped this round here as well in the last shot we got a two, brand new two and three quarter inch fiocchi and we've got 28 and a half grains a long shot in here x12 x seal quarter inch fiber wide and 10 pellets of 35 caliber. I did not use the horn in this. Is, this is out of our Marty's mold here. 35 cal, powder coated in here. 10 pellets, which is one and a half ounces of total lead payload weight in all covered in Ballistic Products Original and a roll crimp segmented overshot card for the final shot. All right, guys, let's get these last two shot here. We'll take the final, the two and three quarter inch round. We're going to go ahead and put it in there. Help with the recoil a little bit. All righty, here we go. Twelve forty nine. Of course I did. I can't happen to, I can't shoot straight all day. I gotta pull at least one somewhere. So I pulled it to the right, fellas. 
but y'all can still see, golly bum. Uh, you can tell my Stoger, in conventional loads, my Stoger likes the, uh, likes the big pellets. It just likes the bigger pellets than the conventional loads. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, all ten of them are here. But look at that right there. There's nine of them right there in 14, 15 inch circle. 50 yards. We're at a full 50 yards. Uh, some people would call it 50 meters. But uh, anyway, you see how my shotgun likes these things. A lot of guys do. A lot of guys at the club. Josh and Beck Air both shoot the quad and the triple alt loads. And uh, they took, uh, took several nice deer this year. But uh, those, uh, those big pellets, they don't mess around. We got a 35 cal and a two and three quarter inch, and we're going to wrap this one up. Y'all stand by. The hole that we just shot, the 36 cal, triple all out of. Again, it looks good. can be loaded again. The quad federal can definitely be loaded again. And here's your close look at what I'm talking about. A lot of you guys have seen this. It's just what happens in these cheap, thin-walled holes we're using the big pellets. And I've got like a four mil mylar wrap. I use two mil and four mil, sometimes seven mil. Uh, but this is what you, now this doesn't happen all the time, but it happens a lot. You're gonna see it. If you load these big pellets in these thin walled holes, you're gonna see this. And a lot of you say, well, Wade, where'd you get the 35 cal? Well, you know, if you get Hornady, Triple off, that's what it is. It's is 35 caliber. It tells you right on the box. That's what it is. Uh, I make my own uh, Marty's, Marty's Malls. All the links and all that will be in the, uh, in the description. All right, so basically what we've done is we've got, we got three inch power and a two and three quarter inch hole here. Two and three quarter inch round. And 1296, just under 1300 foot per second. Hole looks great, can be loaded again. Uh, 35, 36, 37 caliber, the holes look about the same, don't they, fellas? This was 1035 caliber out of two and three quarter inch round. Uh, we got great coverage. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got all ten here. Good uniform coverage right here across the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, thirty-five caliber. Do a, a, right there in the center of the paper. Alrighty, fellas, these are some of my best performing 35, 36, 37 caliber. And uh, they may do well out of your tools. As